Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, so what are your names, boys? Uh, my name's Charlie. And my name's Leandre. And uh, together we're Baz and Melody. Bam. What's the dream with you two guys? I just want to deliver it to you people. I just want to give an awesome performance. I get you. I get you. What did your mum and dad do for, for a job? My mother's a uh, personal trainer, and my father's a stonemason. Stonemason! <laughs> yeah, bro! And you? My mum's a cook in a school. Dinner lady, yo! And, um... <laughs> um, my stepdad, he owns his own company. He's a businessman, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Alicia, I love you so much. You're my inspiration. He friends the Alicia. He don't like Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, you're beautiful as well. He is lying! <laughs> um, boys, can I just ask you, uh, what are you singing? Well, it's uh, Hope by Twister and Faith Evans, but it's a bit of a twist in the rap because I wrote it myself. What's the song about? It's about anti-bullying. Uh, so, anti-bullying? Yeah, because it's something that I feel deep about. So. OK, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.
seems like we hardly need to uh, <laughs> critique you went so well, but let's have some uh, comments. Amanda. I'm just so happy for you. Your voice is beautiful. We all would be in tears. So well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. The minute you started that verse, it actually brought a tear to my eye. It was really, really moving. Alicia, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be rapping, so, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Two young kids like yourself to come out and, and sing about something that really affects you, do it in a style that's completely yours, is a really rare thing. That's why you got that golden buzzer today. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? I've heard of so monstrous songs today, and I just was <laughs> literally losing the will to live. You know what? I listened to every word. Did this stuff happen in your life? I got bullied a bit when I was younger, but... But not anymore? Yes, yeah, it's, it's all gone now, yeah. I think that record could be a hit, I really do. I really, really like you two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's it, we'll see you in the live show. Thank you so much. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. You're Callum, Jade's brother. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. I'm 26, I'm from Hull, uh, and I'm singing a cover of a song by Robin. I love Robin. Yeah. It's dancing on my own, but it's a bit slower. Okay, whenever you're ready, good luck. <clears throat> Thank you. Somebody said you got a new friend and Does she love you better than I can? And there's a big black sky over my town I know it ain't a bit she's over Stilettos and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles And I'm in the corner Watching you kiss her oh, oh, oh. And I'm right over here Why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm giving Thank you. 
You completely sucked us all in. It was so special. And after what happened with your sister as well, I'm so happy for your family. Well done, Simon. Fantastic choice. And congratulations Thank to you. you. You do have the most extraordinary voice. You sound like you're already there. You know, I can't, I can't see how it could be any better. And I know it was tricky because your sister didn't get through and, and brilliantly is right by your side and sharing this she means moment. Well to me. I know. She really does. I know. And you know, this is your moment. You absolutely shone. <laughs> Thank you. It was incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it's great, you know, I'm I'm no expert on singing, but you know when someone's taking you on an emotional journey. You've got a real talent for interpreting lyrics, and I think you've got a real recording voice as well. Thank you so much. Simon. I've never, ever, in all the years I've done this show, heard a guy with the talent you've got. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and the version was sensational. And that shows to me that actually you're more than a singer, you're an artist. Yeah. And that's why you got that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, you? What's your name? Sarah Ikumu. OK, Sarah, where are you from? Milton Keynes. OK. <laughs> and how old are you, Sarah? I'm 15. Wow. OK, uh, tell me the song you think... Oh, come on, pick a good one. ..is the right one for you and why you've chosen it. I think And I'm Telling You is the best song for me because, oh. because it shows my vocal ability the best. One of the biggest songs in the world. Yes. And you want to take that one on? Let's do it. In time, telling you I'm not going to win. You're the best of me. I'll ever know. There's no way I can ever go. No, no, no.
come here. Oh, wow. Look, Sarah, I've heard this song a lot. And it started off really well. I thought, yeah, this girl's great. And then it's like you became possessed halfway through. It was quite incredible. And for someone of your age to stand on this stage with all the nerves and all the pressure to absolutely not just nail the song, you made it your song. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. I'm absolutely thrilled that you got a gold buzzer. I mean, it was mind blowing. I couldn't believe that you were only 15. Congratulations. <laughs> You are not allowed to have that much talent at your age. It's insane. And I didn't press that golden buzzer because I wanted Simon to press that golden buzzer. Because I want you to go far, and I think Simon can help you because you are a superstar. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> David? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was fantastic, Sarah. Well done. Thank you so much. Most importantly, enjoy this. I'm thrilled for you and your family. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? I'm Jack. Nice and... to meet you, Jack. I'm Dad. I'm Tim. Hi, Dad. Tim. Hi. Oh, aren't you adorable? Where are you guys from? We're from Norfolk, Norwich. Oh. How old are you, Jack? I'm 12. 12. And how long have you been singing with Dad? Um, since I was about five. Really? And Tim, is this what you do for a living? I play. My, I'm a full-time dad, really, to uh, Jack, Lily and uh, Gabrielle and Kimberly. Are you feeling nervous? A little bit, but I'm really excited. Do you think you could win this? It's my favourite thing to watch on TV, so it would be absolutely incredible to win. Good answer. Do you have a favourite judge? <laughs> I like Simon especially oh. because... <laughs> I like Simon especially because um, I like watching his best insults. Okay. They're good, aren't they? They are They're really, really good. good. They're funny. OK. Probably not best to ask that question again. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. What's the song? Uh, this is a song called The Lucky Ones. Jack and I write together, and um, this is one of ours. OK. Can you tell me what it's about? It's... Um, we, we kind of... Uh, we've all had um, family losses and things like that, and, uh, and as a father and son, it's... Um, it's a kind of father-son song, family song. It's about, it's about us. It's about, it's just about being so... It's about how lucky we are to have what we have. Oh, well, you seem adorable, and we wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you.
Jack, this says it all. Such a great song. Thank you, so you are special. Come here. That was fantastic. I love that song. <laughs> Just magic. What does that mean, dude? What a great song. Thank you so much. It reminded me of me and my boy. Thank you so much. Come here, guys. I got to tell you, YouTube. You're just fantastic. That was a moment. That, that was just so fantastic, so pure, so great. Thank you so much. Well done, you two. I was a mess throughout the whole thing. It was an amazing <laughs> golden buzzer. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> I'm just so happy for you. By far the coolest father and son act yeah. we've ever had. By far. Can't wait to hear more and see you in the lives. Wow. I'm a dad and it was just wonderful to see a father and son yeah. with this very special connection yeah. you know, this beautiful performance together. Thank well done. You. Oh Put it in your pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shut it in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. I was not expecting to see you today. I've known Kojo for many, many years. Kojo, I'll let you tell my fellow judges about yourself. I'm a stand-up comedian. <laughs> um, been doing comedy for 20 years. Um, I've spent most of those 20 years encouraging young comedians and helping big-name comedians and opening up for them. And my new fiancé, We've, we've got a little boy called Roman, who's here as well. And she said that it was about time that I started thinking about myself and my son. Who makes you laugh? Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
OK, well, look, Koji, you know the show. Three minutes, do your stuff. Good luck, darling. Thank you very much. Travel, Coach! <laughs> really into this. I want a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am a new dad for the first time. But all I want to do is be better than my dad, right? My dad had no patience, right? Me and my best friend, Michael Murphy, after school every day, we'd play football on the estate. I had the parent who would ruin that game by calling me inside for something I didn't think was necessary. All you would hear, because I've got African parents, right? My dad would shout like, Kujo, come here. <laughs> now, Michael always had a confrontation with my dad. He was like, coach, 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 what's going on, mate? <laughs> the coach, you're a big man, you're 11. <laughs> you go in there and you tell him that this enough's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was a little part of me that believed in Michael's spirit. <laughs> but then I remembered he don't live in my house. <laughs> so I turned to my dad, I said, Dad, what's up? Go to the store and get me Ribena. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is all I said. Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get it yourself? <laughs> It was 1 p.m., but it got dark real quick. <laughs> the pigeons weren't even flying anymore. They came down to warn me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any jokes. I've got problems. Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows. Four! but there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. <laughs> I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like... <laughs> Can I get £1.50, please? <laughs> that weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? <laughs> but I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> <laughs> I was so frustrated that I rushed out of the bank. I rushed out to be greeted by the most creative homeless person I have ever met. He rushed up to me and said, look, mate, I know you're in a rush, but can I please get 20 pence to get something to eat? Ladies and gentlemen, I looked at him and said, you know where to eat for 20 pence? <laughs> I said, mate, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I've got dinner for the both of us. When, you, when you're broke, right, and you ain't got no money, there's certain things that you can't enjoy. Like a cab ride, right? You can't enjoy the black cab ride. You can't enjoy it, right? I went into a black cab recently. Me and my mate, we jumped in. He was getting comfortable. Clearly, he's got more money than me. He was looking outside the window, talking to the driver. He fell asleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you ain't got no money, you only look at one thing, the meter. <laughs> The experience in a black cab is the most awful thing ever. They charge you before you even speak to the driver. <laughs> you step in, 250. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you sit down, three pound. Hey! <laughs> Let's discuss this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to a point where I don't even have a destination when I get into a black cab. <laughs> when a driver says, where do you want to go? I say, take me to five pound. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. My name's Kojo, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
Mojo, when you came on, I loved hearing about how you've grafted, how you've honed your act, how you've now got your little family. Yeah, and the act just got better and better, and then by the end, you were like, yeah, I'd pay money to see this man. Congratulations. Thank you so much, man. I'm so happy right now. I've always respected you. My respect level for you has just gone way up there, my friend. And uh, let's see how far you can take it now. Thank you very much. Brother. Thank you. Well, you know, when someone's really funny, there is nothing much to say other than you are brilliantly funny. Yeah. You made everyone laugh. Um, you've kind of got all bases covered as a comedian. You're brilliantly likeable. You've got fantastic observational routines. I think you did yourself really proud today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hojo. What was quite amazing was I felt that you were nervous. Then I could see the audience reacting to you and you reacting to them. But I'm going to be honest with you, Koja, I don't really like comedians on this show. But I love you. I really get it. I have to tell you, I don't know what it is. You are so funny and so unpredictable. You've just got the most amazing energy. This is the break you've been waiting for. Thank you so much. I could not be happy with you. you. Enjoy this. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Faith. Faith, how old are you? 12 years old. Wow. And where are you from? I'm from Swindon. Are you feeling nervous? No. Uh, nervous and excited. What did you think when you woke up this morning? I was like, oh my days. <laughs> Is this even real? I started pinching myself. Oh, this isn't real. I can't be doing this yet. <laughs> got a great personality. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever had moments when you've lost your confidence? I'm, I'm really curious. Um, I have lost my confidence a little bit with like a bit of negative energy from different schools from yeah. like because but I my mum and my dad they helped me get through that which is why I'm here today so okay my darling well good luck this is your moment thank you she's so cute
I mean, just occasionally, and it is very occasionally on this show, someone comes onto the stage, you think, they are born to be a superstar. Thank you. You know what I love about you, Faith, is that I absolutely love your personality. Thank you. Um, and you talked about the support you had from your mum and dad. Then you see the support you've had from 3,000 people. And just to give you a little bit more support, I'm going to give you one of those. Sing the phone book. My heart is beating. Enjoy every moment. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Dad. <laughs> hey, well done. Hey, she, amazing. Thank you very much. That was such an amazing audition. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Thank Simon. It was an absolute pleasure. Brilliant. I asked the question if you've ever had any negativity, because when I grew up, I had that as well. And the most important thing is they never get to you. And when you're as good as you are, you win. You know, it kind of gives you that strength and determination. So if anyone ever says anything negative, you remember this moment. Okay? Oh my god, that's so amazing. Thank you so much, Thank Simon. It's an absolute yeah, pleasure yeah. to meet you both. <laughs> you will start. My name's Axel Blake and I'm from West London. So Axel, what made you sign up for BGT this year? Well, I've got a 12-year-old son, he's in the audience. Nice. Yeah. So I just wanted him to believe in yourself, you know? Put your mind to it and you can make it happen. And do you have a day job? Uh, yes, I do um, property maintenance. If you need a kitchen done, Simon, let me know. Let me know. I do, actually, Axel. <laughs> Give me a call. I will. Good. I want a good rate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Come, we're friends now. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Press that and we're cool, yeah? <laughs> I'm really curious with you, because you've got, you got your day job, this is obviously is what you want to do. Has there ever been a moment where you've almost lost your confidence and thought, I'm not going to do this? 100%, 100% there's been that time. But when you have family that's looking at you and inspired by you, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. So my son and my daughter, that's, what, that's the reason. That's the reason. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Go for it. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Make some noise. I was going to drive here today. I realise I don't have a licence, so... Don't worry, I drove anyways, I drove anyways. <laughs> I took the tube, I took the tube. I've got a love-hate relationship with the tube, you know? I love when it's empty, I hate when it's packed. Can't stand it. Fight people off for the armrest. You ever done that? You think, no, you don't. This old lady's strong, oh my... <laughs> have it, have it, Margaret, have it. Just have it. Some people do their makeup on the tube as well. Make some noise if you've ever done your makeup on the tube. <laughs> Legend. A couple weeks ago, I saw a woman, she was doing her whole makeup. A few stops later, she was a whole new person. I was so impressed, I started clapping. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know. She looked down on me like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ugh, uh. I thought, uh, you may be a nine out of 10 now, but you was a minus two at King's Cross, love. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I walked off the train like this, in style, yeah. Well, no bright to note, just recently my fiance gave birth to a little baby girl. <laughs> don't clap, Simon, don't clap. I didn't say the baby's mine, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, she's mine. 
Pandemic baby as well, you know? Aww. Yeah, so we wanted to give her a fitting name. So we named her Pfizer, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I call her Faisha, yeah? <laughs> Faisha. Oh, he's very good. <laughs> Technology is moving at such a crazy speed. Evolving crazy. You got the metaverse, you know, you got cryptocurrency. I still get excited about my contactless card when I use it. <laughs> I do, when I use it, beep. <laughs> I love the noise. I've got a jacket with a pocket on his arm. Sometimes I'll leave my card in the arm and I'll pay with my arm. <laughs> just to confuse the cashier. That'll be 19 pounds 13. Boop. <laughs> Next week I'm going back, I'm gonna leave my card in my back pocket. I'll be 22 pounds 60. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then I walk off in style. <laughs> yeah. Who's in a happy relationship makes some noise? <laughs> yeah, me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she'd come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I don't know when you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> yes, you do. What I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at a decent time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face, get out of my face. I said, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. Hey. In style. My name's Axel Blake, thank you. What did you think? A comedy superstar is born tonight on that show. <laughs> so funny. You made it all seem so effortless. You got a wonderful, so likable personality. And everything you said was brilliantly funny and original. I love it, Axel. Thank you. Well done, Axel. Super, super, super confident. The first person honestly, who's ever made a joke about COVID and was funny. <laughs> I, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know, after what everybody's gone through over the last couple of years, boy, A, we needed this show back on air. We needed acts like you. There's one thing I have to tell you, though. I kind of like a granite top. I like a waste disposal unit. I want 25% off, and you get this.
How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 30 years old, and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Oh, please be good.
amazing was that? I mean, seriously, seriously good. One of the best voices I think I've ever heard for someone your age. I mean, this is amazing. Oh, look at that. Well deserved. Oh, let's grab the gold. Come on. Well done, pal. Well done. Yeah, you cut, you cut the... <laughs> Amanda. That was a stunning performance. Stunning. Totally flawless, very composed. I looked over at your mum and sister. They were in bits. So you did, you did yourself so proud, it was beautiful. I don't know what you're channeling, but whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a, a trance. I agree. It was like being in heaven. <laughs> that was stunning, but that was effortless. I was in tears because you really touched me and it's very simple. You sang like an angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this show. Oh. Really, that means a lot. Thank you. this amazing looking group. We are called Unity. We're all friends in college. So we decided to put this group together to perform a piece called I Will, okay. which is about being told that you can't or you're not enough. And how is a group that we come together and power through that. Lovely. I love that she's giving you the mic and he's like, why are you handing it to me? <laughs> What's your name, young man? Uh, my name's Kieran. Kieran, what would you do if you were to win the money? Would you split it between all of you? We'd have to figure that one out. Or you're just a calculator, darling, the buy. <laughs> do you think you can win? I certainly hope so. OK, good luck. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. I'm Declan, and labels don't define me. I push the gender boundaries, but don't allow discrimination to change who I am. People stare and say things. They try to label me. They say I can't be who I am. I will. They say don't dare, don't you even go there. Cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told. Tell you wake up, go put on your makeup. This is just a phase you're gonna outgrow. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's true, it's true. There's something wrong with the village, with the village. There's something wrong with the village. I'm Steph. I'm Libby. And, and we, we are, are in love. love. Since we came out, we constantly have eyes on us. For something as simple as holding hands walking down the street. 
Whereas a male and female can kiss in public and no one would look twice. They don't want us to show our love. We will. There's nothing wrong with It's true. It's true. There's something wrong with the village. With the village. Something wrong with the village. I'm Junior. Growing up, I was bullied for my love of dance. Dancing makes me feel free and allows me to act out my feelings in a safe place. Bullies ruined this. I was beaten up and called names, all because a boy loved to dance. I'm Kira. Society has conditioned me to believe that I will never be good enough because of my size, that I will be unsuccessful if I don't change my shape. People say I'll never make it. I will. Something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's true, it's true. There's something wrong with the village, with the village. Our abilities aren't hindered because of our differences. Our talents aren't any less because we are unique. Our worth isn't defined by our diversity. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognise, accept, embrace and celebrate those differences. Never judge somebody on the way they wear their body But I pull myself to pieces, I don't know why I do If I could only learn to see myself how other people do I'd say I'm not my thoughts, this is my house and these are my rules You can be anything you want and anyone you want to be in life. The message is loud and clear. The execution, artistically, your choreography was superb. It really is a fantastic performance at every level. I had goosebumps, that's all I can say. Um, well, it was such a beautiful... Audience want a goal, but there aren't any goals left. Bruno press it anyway. Doesn't care. I've already done it twice. I can't anymore. For me, it was such a beautiful, passionate piece. The message was so strong. Everything that you stand for, all of your personalities, the love that you have for each other, all the different characters involved in this group, all of that made this such an amazing and special piece. It was beautiful. I thought that actually was astonishing. The way that you got your message across, it was so strong. It was an audition I'll never forget. What you've done, you've done it your way. And look, we don't have any golden buzzers left. Oh. They'd be nailed on for a golden buzzer if we had any left. But sometimes I feel you should just break the rules. I don't know. I hope
走。Honestly, you deserve that golden buzzer. It was absolutely beautiful. I was very moved by that. That's how you use a stage, and I feel very proud of all of you. We heard your message loud and clear.